Greetings everyone. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to MoSint, an open source intelligence gathering tool that can help you extract valuable data from various online sources. MoSint is a fastest OSINT tool for emails. It helps you gather information about the target email. Before using MoSint or any other OSINT tool, it's important to understand the legal and ethical considerations. Gathering data without permission can be considered illegal in some cases, so it's important to use MoSint ethically and responsibly. First, clone the repository. For installation, you first need to have Go installed. If you don't have it already installed, install it first. In my case, with Black Arch Linux, Go is already installed. Type this command for installation. This command is used to install MoSint on a system using the Go programming language. It uses the Go install command to compile and install the MoSint code from the GitHub repository at the latest version. The at symbol followed by latest in the command specifies the version of MoSint to install. In this case, it installs the latest version available on the GitHub repository. If you want to install a specific version, you can replace latest with the version number. For me, all the requirement are already satisfied. In your case, it will take some time to install. Now you need to download a zip file in order for MoSint to work correctly and avoid errors. Go to the latest releases, select this x86 and x86. We will now extract this zip file into our cloned MoSint folder. As you can see, a green MoSint has appeared. If you run the tool now, you will get error. So I stopped it in order to first fix the issue and then run it. You need to copy the MoSint folder into this directory. Remember, it's important. Path might be same for you as well if you are using other Linux distros. Now let's copy this. As you can see, we have MoSint folder here now. Now the next thing you need to do is to go into root folder. Make sure you switch to super user or root first. Now create a JSON file in the root directory. Make sure you keep the name same as I have here. Once you create a file, just open it and copy my config and put it in your file. Save and exit out of there and you are good to go. Now let's clear the screen and run it to see if it works. Seems like it worked. Now let's run it again in the OPT directory where you might probably get error. That's why I copied it. For the location and IP you see here, these are fake. I hope this tutorial was helpful. I'd appreciate a follow if you want to see more of cybersecurity-related content. Thanks.